Go. Hey guys, I'm Kat from Comic Uno, and I'm talking to one of my favorite writers, Tom DeFalco, and I'm going to be asking <laughs> some cool questions. So, one question I do have is that with Marvel changing Spider Girl, how was that so different to go to DC and write Superboy and they just lost? How was that transition? Well, uh, it was very shocking to me to go from Marvel to DC because. Uh, for many years, I was the great Satan over at DC. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, but uh, you know, it, it was a uh, it was a very easy transition. Yeah. I'm surprised at how easy it was. Uh, the people at DC have been just fantastic. They, uh, you know, they've been very supportive. Uh, they understand that I'm kind of stupid when it comes to <laughs> their characters, but they said it, it's okay. We just you know reboot right. the whole universe. Everything you need to know. Starts from the, the new 52. Right. So I, I've been able to jump into it, and, um, and I'm having a lot of fun. Uh, but, you know, Legion Lost is a very different series from anything I've ever done before. Um, and Superboy is uh, a very different kind of character. Right. Uh, done in comics before. Right. Yeah, he seems very different. What do you have ahead for Legion Lost and Superboy? What are different storylines that you want to conquer? Well, um, you know, I'll take Superboy first. Superboy is, you know, in many, in many respects, he's kind of a young, you know, sociopath. Right. And um, it's interesting to, you know, to start dealing with a sociopath at his young, young age before he develops into being, you know, a psychopathic killer or, or whatever he's going to become. And, you know, he's still at that point where we don't know which direction he's going to go because it, it is the new 52. He can go in any direction, <laughs> not all of them go. Um, Legion Lost, uh, you're, you're dealing with a you know, science fiction based series, uh, dealing with people from the future who are you know, having trouble fitting into the past. Uh, their biggest problem is they keep underestimating the past. And just because they're from the future, it's not necessarily that you know, that they're going to win every fight or anything else like that. Especially when they're you know, underestimating these so-called cave people. So that's basically the difference. What we're going to see, and um, I, something I really enjoyed was your uh, team up with Nightwing uh, with Cloud Higgins. And um, are you going to be writing more Nightwing titles? Because I really love that issue. The, the zero issue? Yeah, it's issue zero. Well, um, I'm, I'm, I actually on my own uh, did uh, issue, I think it was 12 and 13 of that. And um, yeah, I, you know, I think Kyle is doing a terrific job. You know, it was fun to read, you know, to do the reference on that, yeah, read all the issues. and. Uh, I think they've uh, established a real fun character. He seems very different from what he used to be before the new 52. And just, I love the new spin. And with that issue zero, I made sure him have a new spin. I really like that. Is there any other projects you're working with DC or any other company? Um, yeah. Um, I'm doing a couple of other films for DC, which I really shouldn't talk about, so I won't. Okay. Uh, we'll find out. Yeah. You'll find out the time comes. And you know I'll be reading it. <laughs> Wow. Well, I, I, I've got a series that you probably won't be reading. Uh, my <laughs> friends and I are uh, currently working on a four-issue walk for G.I. Joe. Oh, That's cool. So uh, we're going to be dealing with this character, uh, Joe uh, Colton, who, who is the, uh, the man who formed the G.I. Joe team. Oh, interesting. Yeah. He's, a, he's, he's an older, sophisticated uh, gentleman who, uh, you know, Maybe his time is past. Yeah. So I, I wonder if that's why they asked me to write that. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so Ron and I are going to be doing four issues. Unfortunately, I don't know which four issues they are. Well, I love you guys teaming up, so that would definitely be interesting. You know, and, uh, and we're going to be, uh, we've got a couple of other projects in the hopper. Very excited for that. You know, Ron and I are you know, still good buddies. And, uh, 
and talk on a regular basis and always have two or three things up in the air. Which is awesome. I definitely will picking up because I love your team. I love you being creative <laughs> with each other. Now I gotta ask some Spire Girl questions. So, you know I'm a big Spire Girl fan on Spire Girl boards as we all, we all talk. Um, one question I have is since I reviewed the end just recently, um, do you have any other things you wanted to do that you wish you did do and were you satisfied with the end? I'm a Guinness, right? Well, I was satisfied with Spider Girl the end. I thought that, oh, that story tied up okay. very nicely. Man, that's and left the series in a good place. Right. And also left the door open if we ever want to come back. I don't know if we want to come back. Um, yeah. I don't think her story was fully told. No, I don't think you know, it, it's, it's a weird thing when you're a writer on, on a series, and especially a series you love. You know, I, I was on it for you know, close to 13 years, and I think I could be on it for another 13 years and never run out of stories. Um, it's hard to me. Every once in a while, I mean, I know about guys who have been on a book for 12 issues, and they say, I, I've, I've said everything I have to say about this character, and I think, well, you've got nothing to say about the character, did you? Uh, yeah, you know, and, and I, uh, you know, I've always been the kind of guy that, you know, I, I have to commit fully. Right. I have to, when I when I deal with a character, I have to completely fall in love with that character, yeah. and then once I fall in love, I never want to leave the character. Yeah. Which is why, you know, I was on this tour for, you know, I think it was close to four and thought this right close to seven years and fantastic tour for about five or six years. I, you know, when I commit to a character, I, I'm on there until they, they you know, blow me off with a shotgun. Well, so. I don't think it would inspire a girl, you know. <laughs> but um, also, what inspired you to write Spider Girl? You know, what really? Okay. Um, okay, he, here's the secret origin of Spider Girl. <laughs> okay. I'm excited. <laughs> um, at one point, we were working on, on uh, uh, Spider Man books. And for. Uh, sort of reason I was not having a lot of fun on the Spider-Man books. And um, we discovered that Mary Jane was pregnant. And, yeah, he, he did And I thought, oh, okay. And then at one point they decided they wanted to kill the baby. Um, she had an abortion? No, no, no. no, no, no. They, um, she wasn't born, and that's how Spider Girl was like, oh, well, the pain saved her. Oh, I didn't know that. During that sort of thing. Yeah. So, and then later on they said, well, leave the door open. Um, did she die? Did she not die? I said, okay, fine. Yeah, that's and I, great. And, and I started setting up, you know, uh, the, you know the, that the daughter was alive. Um, and I, you know, in my spare time, I used to think, hey, it'll be cool if some, some, somewhere along the line, you know, Spider Girl actually, you know. Yeah, you know, What if? Yeah. And the good yeah, thing I, about Marvel is that it has all the other universes or the worlds or whatever that you can do yeah. that in a different way. You know? and, and, and here's the, the other part. You know, at a certain point, they assigned me to write What If. Yes. Oh, and that okay. was supposed to be my regular title, oh, What okay. If. So, so the first time I, I said, oh, God, oh, got to come up with a What If. And they said, yes, and you need a plot next week. And I said, oh, okay. And they, and they said, do you have any ideas? I said, uh, no, but by next week I will. Um, and I thought, thought, and I said, you know, I've always thought about that Spider Girl thing. Well, you know, what if, what if, what if there was Spider Girl? And they said, oh, that, 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 that could be interesting. You know, do you have an artist in mind? I said, let me call Ron Friends. I mean, Ron was doing Superman at the time for DC. I said to him, Ron, you know, I have this idea of doing, you know, what if there was a Spider Girl? And, and I think Ron's first reaction was, Spider Girl? Are you kidding me? And I said, nah, seriously, you know, do a story, you know, in the future, blah, blah, blah. And he goes, uh, let me think about it. And then he gets off the phone, he calls me back about half hour later, he goes, you know, I, I, I remember the time you, you, you said to me, you know, what if we did a spectacular spider kid and we were doing <laughs> Spider-Man, he said, and I thought that was a, a, the craziest idea. Then when you saw, then when you actually started to discuss on the plot, it, it ended up being one of my favorite stories. And then one time he told me, what, what if we do this? And I, and I, you know, I didn't like the idea. Then we did it, and I, it, was, it was a favorite. So you know what? Let's let's do it. But let's let's 
nothing. And then Ron and I started talking. And um, we came up with the first issue. And we had a lot of fun with it. And, uh, and he said, you know, this... I think this character could come back. And I said, well, it's a what if. Said, you know, maybe someday you could maybe do a sequel, but, you know, maybe just one issue. But, just one issue. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> thought, years. I, I thought, you know, maybe next, the following year, if it proved to yeah. be popular, we could do another one. Okay. So we, we did the, the issue, and then we started working on, on, on one with Thor, you know, uh, Thor and Thunderstrike. Uh, and I, I, think, I think I did a Wolverine one in between yeah, or something um, like that. The daughter, right? Yeah. 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 I, you know, I, I, I lose track of them. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, I'm pretty sure you did that. <laughs> and at one point, uh, you know, I show up at, at Marvel, and Bob Harris says, "Oh, that what if you did was very popular." And I said, "Which one, the Thor one?" <laughs> he goes, "No, the Spider Girl one. We've got a crazy idea." <laughs> And, and uh, they were going to come up with comic books for uh, package stores like you know, uh, Walmart and Kmart and stuff. Three titles in a band. And they said, so do you think you could come up with two other titles? Oh, sure. Because yeah. you know, uh, we introduced the Avengers. And, yeah. you know, and, right. and he says, yeah, and I also like that little juggernaut. <laughs> okay, <laughs> little juggernaut. And I called... Brian, I said, yeah, he, want, he wants to go to the, the Avengers and Little Juggernaut. I goes, who the heck is Little Juggernaut? That was the real Juggernaut. To keep your mouth shut, don't tell anybody. I like it. It's Little Juggernaut now. And that's, you know, how we came up with the, the whole craziness. Thank goodness, because now we have great stories that I always reread still, and I love them. One last question. This is a Spider-Man question. I don't know if you heard, but Amazing Spider-Man being canceled with issue 700, and now they're rebooting it with Marvel now, relaunching it um, with um, Sensational Spider-Man or something like that. Superior Spider-Man. Superior Spider-Man, yes. And uh, what do you think about that? I have no idea what they're doing. I wish them the best of luck. Yeah, I mean, I hope so too, but I, I wish, you know, so many hard workers like you and so many other people worked on Amazing Spider-Man, now they're just, you know, relaunching it. You know, that's that, that's the biz. Yeah. You know, uh, you know I, I, I've also heard a rumor that, you know, the new Spider-Man is going to be Peter Parker. Yeah, I heard that too. And you know what? I wish, like I say, I wish them the best of luck. If it's not Peter Parker, then I have no interest in it. Yeah, same here. You know, someone you invested in, you know. Yeah, so I, I don't particularly care one one way or the other. Right. The, the Spider-Man that I grew up with, I, I still have all those comics. Yeah, it's, it's so true. So you know, maybe it'll appeal to the new guys, and I hope it does, because because. Uh, you know, I wish Marvel the very best. Yeah, I cross my fingers today is Peter because I think it could be an interesting story. I just think they should just continue with Amazing Spider-Man because, like, what's the, the difference? But who knows? Hopefully it does work out. I'm a big Spider-Man fan also. Thank you so much for talking for us. It's been an honor, definitely. It's Thank a you. pleasure to finally Thank meet you. you.